Conway is a local photographer. He's got this great new project that he's working on. I saw it popping up all over social media. It's called Faces of Erie. Mike, welcome. It's nice to have you here on the show today. Hi, thanks for having me. Yeah, so tell us about Faces of Erie. Um, it's a portrait project to capture the mosaic of Erie, Erie PA. Um, there's a lot of culture and um, amazing community here, mm -hmm. and I want to try to capture it in um, um, and portraits of it for all, all people who can um, be a part of this is uh, just, it's a big collaboration of everybody here in the city. And it takes no like special accolades to be part of this, just, you know, um, a unique from, um, you know, a social worker to uh, a lawyer to um, Erie Insurance to, you know, a grocery store worker, you know, a street worker. All, every single person there is yeah. part of this community and makes it up in some way. And I want to capture all that and try to put that in a table book at the end of the year. Yeah, like a coffee table book. Yeah. You know, the first time I noticed this, you were doing people who were not necessarily what's known as movers and shakers, you know, sure. people that are recognizable. Mm -hmm. And I was so intrigued by that because I just, you were capturing people just in their essence yeah. and just a brief synopsis of who they are and what they do. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, just have like a small bio about just to check out who they are and, and then uh, also ask them to get a positive quote, whether it be about um, your EPA or just some type of inspirational thing you want to put out there on, you know, in, out in the world. And then I will put that little blurb in there next to your uh, picture in the book that we're going to be making here um, by the end of the year. Perfect. So, Mike, you've been photographing people for a long time and yeah. in, in places and everything. What do you think right now is different about the faces of Erie, maybe if you would have done this 10 years ago? Um, tough question. Um, it's, I don't know, we, we've, we just keep collecting more and more diversity. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, I think we're a lot more diverse than we ever, ever, ever were, um, more of a melting pot than I've ever seen. So, and I've been an event photographer for a very, very long time. And, and I've seen a lot of, you know, just more and more and more diversity from every culture and community. And it's been awesome. How can people get involved if they'd like to be a part of this? If if, sure, if you want to be involved, um, just head to our website, facesofairy.com, uh, and you can fill out the information there and submit an application to try to be a part of this because there's, been, there's a influx of a ton of people who want to be a part of this. Sure. And because, you know, you're all part of the community, I want you on here, but we have to filter and go through and see and read everybody's story. When do you think this coffee table book's going to be done and ready and sitting on our first at four coffee table? Our, our goal <laughs> is to have it done by um, by the end of the year and, and soon we're going to be um, putting out sponsorships to help be a part of this to get this table book made. Perfect. So Good for you and, yeah. and what a kudos to you to bring our community together. Mm -hmm. You know it's this important. is just a great way to showcase everybody not just the folks who have always yeah. been in the news. Good yeah sure. You. Thank you. Yeah, there are very important people that you know. That, I mean, the mayor's in there, Ryan Pizarro, so on, so on. All these faces and Amanda Post um, <laughs> is all, all part of like uh, that everybody knows. But there's a, like the unput, the blue collar, and like all the people that we don't know who are just as important who need Absolutely. to be in Absolutely. Yeah, they yeah. make up our community. Mm -hmm. um, I just think that this is really fascinating. We're starting to run out of time, but what's one thing so far during this project that has really influenced you or inspired you? The kindness. Mm -hmm. people's kindness everybody is so kind and like I've, I've it's it's really been great to just enjoy people like meeting new people and tell me about their story and so I've just taken a lot of um, good information about everybody I've met so far that's terrific I'm, I'm so looking forward to this coming out I think it's gonna be great thank you everybody's gonna want this to be a uh, part of their home Excited. decor for sure we'll have to put it in nest right Absolutely. we'll have to get it in nest I love it. <laughs> yes Mike great thanks for coming in today thank you